I had two older sisters that I kind of looked up to, and and for them having the chance to travel nationally and internationally, you know, my Whitney was on a national team with people I looked up to, and and you know, she would always come back with like autographs and stuff, and I was like, I want to do that. I want to be on those teams. I want to travel the world, and and. At that point, I was just like, you know, I want to be an Olympic gold medalist. I want to break a world record, and I want to be a professional athlete. And those goals that I thought about every single day kept me coming week after week and year after year until I was able to accomplish them. My first national team trip was the Olympics. I thought it was as big as you could get, and uh, just, I mean, just having that that, that experience and having. Getting the free T-shirts and the free gear and the, and the, you know, everything you could possibly imagine, they just hand it to you. Here it is, um, and you know that's kind of like when I learned all the rules of of being on the national team. You know the flag etiquette. Um, you know wearing white caps in the morning, black caps at night. You know just kind of how we do things and and sort of watching the veterans. I think I was able just to really pick up on a lot of a lot on a lot of things and. Um, you know, once an Olympian, always an Olympian. And that's as big as you can get in the sport. There were a lot of mixed feelings after that race. I wasn't happy with the time. But afterwards, I, like, I, I saw the time and was like, man, that's really, like, I'm not happy with that. And then I realized that I had made my fifth Olympic team. And, you know, that was something that, that after London, I didn't think it was possible. Um, taking some time off, going through some ups and downs, and being able to get through the obstacles that I had to be able to have the chance to swim on my fifth Olympic team. Um, it's just special to not only be on the team again and represent my country, uh, but also have the chance to, to have my son come and watch. Um, my last swims ever. Um, he might not remember him, but I'll have the memories for life. You know, ever since I've moved to, to Arizona, it, it's, it's been so wild to me to see so many people that have come up and just been supportive. 